Hi guys, uh, this is John here again. Um, today we are not going to do uh, any gear reviews or anything like that, which is kind of what I've really kind of been doing. Um, but today we're going to talk about something a little bit different. Um, earlier this past summer, I kind of I was having a conversation with a, a fellow photographer of mine, someone actually who's been in business for better than almost going on 60 years, their studio. And he posed a question to me that really got me kind of thinking. Um, he said that he challenged me to shoot an entire wedding with uh, basically one lens and one camera. No switching out. Now, I'm not a real um, heavy shooter at weddings or anything to begin, with, uh, to begin with. A typical wedding for me is probably five or maybe five, six hundred photos tops. Um, I just don't don't feel the need to, to kind of spray and pray. I know some people out there will shoot thousands and thousands of frames and if that works for them that's great. Um, that's just not my style. It's not me. But he challenged me to do that. So I took him up on that challenge uh, in June. I had a wedding in June and I shot it with a X100F, with my X100F. <laughs> which as you guys know is a, a little Fuji rangefinder style camera. It is a uh, roughly a 35 millimeter equivalent. I think it's a 28, 23, I'm sorry, it's a 23 F2 uh, lens on it. It's a great little camera and a great lens. And set off and do the entire wedding from start to finish, from prep, uh, bride getting ready, all that kind of stuff, all the way through the reception. Um, including the ceremony, which was the one thing I was kind of worried about. Now, normally when I shoot a wedding, I will shoot with essentially two lenses. I like to use the 18 F2, um, and I also uh, like to use either the 56, or actually I have this 90 now that I did a review on in the last video that I'm really, really anxious to use because it seems like it'd be a perfect focal length for those two. Gives me a little reach. But most of my work is done on uh, the 18 F2 lens. I like that, sort of like that real wide 28 millimeter look when I shoot weddings. So I took him up on this and I think it's the best thing that I've done for myself in quite a long time. I admittedly spent a lot of my early career spending a lot of money and a lot of time and a lot of energy buying gear, uh, a lot of money actually. Um, and it actually stunted me, I think. And I think it probably does the same to most people. You get too bogged down in the technicalities um, and you lose sight of the fact that you're just there to tell a story. And uh, I had a photographer tell me once that the, the difference between an amateur and professional is the first question out of their mouth is not, what are you shooting with? So I found that to be kind of true. So uh, I'll, I'll show you guys some pictures of the stuff I got with the 35, but more importantly, I want you guys, uh, I pose the same challenge to you guys. It doesn't have to be a wedding, of course, but take the next two weeks, the next month, one camera, one lens. That's it. I don't care what it is. It could be a Leica M10 and a 50 Summicron, or it can be uh, a very basic starter kit with a, or I mean starter camera with a kit lens. It doesn't matter, but one camera, one lens just to see because what it makes you do is that you kind of think you're you, you're presented with limitations which the way that cameras are progressing now there these manufacturers are actually making s solutions for problems that many of us probably wouldn't have so uh and we're kind of buying into it and i was the worst i'll put a list of all the gear i've had on this video so you'll be able to see just the ridiculousness of the whole thing <laughs> more from this simplistic kind of approach than I have from anything else uh, I've done and but out or, or tried and it seems very simple and it seems almost like a common sense thing but when you really focus on it and know that this is all you have to work with um, it makes you in one flail swoop I think a better photographer um, and, and now granted the X100F is a, uh, an amazing camera um, there's no doubt it's one of my favorite cameras actually uh, I don't use it as much as I probably should or want to um, but 
it's a it's a wonderful camera and i would recommend in fact any of the x100 series are great cameras right up from the very first one if you can stand the slow focusing type things then it's perfect it's, it's perfect for you and you can get these things at all kinds of price ranges from them i think the x100s is maybe four or five hundred dollars now and the x100fs are around 900 this is american dollars um but you know, it doesn't have to be that camera by it. It just worked out good for me because it had a fixed lens and I didn't have a choice to change it. So this is my challenge to you guys. Um, there's gonna be a link to a uh, little Facebook group at the, at the end. And if you guys wanna post some of the stuff you get, that'd be great. I think it'd be cool if we could start a little community where everyone can sort of uh, see what we're doing and, and see what we're showing. And, and of course, if there's any constructive stuff, that'd be awesome too. You don't have to be idiots about it. Um, but you know, the point here is to make better pictures. And that's kind of why I started this channel or wanted to want to continue with this channel. I want to make people enjoy photography more. I don't care if you're at a professional level or you're just doing it as, a, as an amateur and take photos of your dog and your cat and your kids or your neighborhood or you're doing it uh, to, to make your living. It doesn't make a difference. The fact of the matter is, is that it's, an, it's something that should be enjoyable. And to, to make it more enjoyable, you have to challenge yourself. And I think this will be a big challenge for us. So please uh, go to the link afterwards and post your stuff in the comment section um, on that link. This Facebook, I think it'll be a Facebook page. Uh, start a little Facebook group. And, um, and let's see what we can do. So thank you guys so much once again for this short little video. And uh, I will talk to you guys later.